Salem wasn't the most exciting place for a couple of rambunctious 13-year-olds. And playing with my friends after school, they usually required a healthy dose of imagination to spice up the underwhelmingly bleak landscape. To us, Salem's history was just a bunch of creepy stories and tourist attractions. I mean, witches didn't exist, we, we all knew that. That's why Robbie Barnes was the laughing stock of the entire school. I mean, he, he actually believed that they were real. Now, looking back, I, I wish I hadn't teased him so much. Maybe then he'd still be alive. I've, I forget which one of my friends actually came up with a plan to prank Robbie, but it didn't take him long to get us all on board. My job was to find an example of an old spell. I mean, it took me all of 15 minutes. And the library had practically every book ever written on the subject. The next step um, involved the, the judgment house. It sat up on the hill, abandoned. Everyone said it was haunted. What made it even creepier were the rumors that Judge Hawthorne burned the remains of accused witches in the house's various fireplaces. And that's, that's where Robbie comes in. We dared him to sneak into the judgment house in the middle of the night and collect a handful of ashes from each of the fireplaces. Then he'd have to light some candles, sprinkle the ashes, and read the spell. We told him that if done correctly, the spell would supposedly blow out all the candles. If he agreed to do all this and the candles so much as, as flickered, we would promise to stop making fun of him. We could, we could see that he was scared, but to his credit, he agreed to go through with it. What we didn't tell him was that we had set up a hidden camera to catch all the hilarity on tape. The next day, Robbie didn't come into school. We, we assumed he had chickened out and was too embarrassed to face the music. Then I heard that Robbie went missing. I felt the chill run down my spine as I retrieved the tape from our hidden camera. I pressed play and fast forward until I saw Robbie. He was doing just as we instructed him to. But then a shadowy figure crossed in front of the camera. Robbie turned in horror just as the camera cut to static. When the image finally returned, Robbie was gone. And the only sign that anything had happened at all was the now smoldering fireplace over in the corner.